Now that we've gotten a look into those Snapdragon X Elite and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 numbers, yeah, there's a lot coming. As yes, we went through the detailed sessions for the Snapdragon X Elite today, and it does have all the tools to disrupt the PC industry for good. All the data for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 points to a crazy amount of improvements over last year. And what if Apple was working on a more affordable Mac for next year? That's part of the rumors. I'm Jaime Rivera, and we're already on day two of the Snapdragon Summit 2023, where it's time to go into details of everything we saw. This is Bogging Out Daily, sponsored by Qualcomm. Qualcomm Technologies, Inc. Let's start this video with official news, but the most interesting part is at the end. Let's start with Apple because watchOS 10.1 is finally here, where it brings the new features that made the new watches so cool. Cupertino launched the update primarily targeting the Apple Watch Series 9 and Apple Watch Ultra 2 with a focus on introducing the double tap gesture. This update follows the initial release of watchOS 10 and typically includes features that couldn't be integrated into the first generation. Double tap gesture initially promoted for the Series 9 and Ultra 2 is now available to owners of the latest wearables. Alongside this, the update includes name drop, an Apple contact sharing feature for iPhone, and the address of minor battery drain issues. It also refines the auto dimming aspect of the auto brightness feature, preventing it from triggering automatically. And if you want to get the update, just go into the watch application paired on your iPhone, navigate to my watch tab and select general followed by software update. Make sure you watch my Apple Watch Series 9 review for more context on why that double tap feature is so cool. Now moving on, let's stick to Apple since we have new and very interesting information about a possible more affordable set of MacBooks, or at least one that could arrive next year. According to a new report, Cupertino is considering launching a low-cost MacBook series to compete with Google's Chromebooks, with reports indicating a potential release in late 2024. Ming-Chi Kuo also backed these rumors, meaning that uh, they could actually happen. Apple's upcoming Scary Fast event on October 30th may focus on multiple M3 chips, possibly for the MacBook Pro models in various sizes. So yeah, don't expect this model to show up next week. But like I said yesterday, there's a lot of uncertainty with MacBooks, so anything could happen. Initially, Quo believed new MacBook Pros wouldn't appear until 2024 due to limited fourth quarter 2024 shipments, but that clearly changed. Anyway, going back to the affordable model, it is reported that the design changes could enable a lower price, including the reintroduction of a 12-inch MacBook known for its thin and light build. And listen, rumors surrounding that 12-inch MacBook return have circulated since Apple's adoption of custom silicon processors with the M1 MacBook Air at a $999 starting price, and even Mark Gurman ignited these rumors suggesting a 2023 or 2024 arrival. Let me know what you think in the comments, because a 12-inch MacBook return would be rather interesting. Now let's switch to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which... Listen, it's pretty insane. I did promise a full segment per platform on today's video, so here we go. Qualcomm is calling it the titan of on-device intelligence, and there's a lot of power to back that up. It's based on a four nanometer process with a cryo CPU on a one by five by two configuration, going up to 3.3 gigahertz, making it 30% faster. Its Adreno GPU is 25% faster while being 25% more power efficient, and now supports displays that go up to 240 hertz in refresh rate, along with enough power for 8K gaming and ray tracing with global illumination, which is a next generation light reflection system. Its hexagon NPU is 98% faster than last year, now supporting up to 10 billion parameters. And now with on-device personalization through the Qualcomm Sensing Hub, is the first to support multi-modality Gen AI models, and is also the world's fastest smartphone chip to generate stable diffusion images in less than one second. Snapdragon Sight also gets some crazy cool features like Video Object Eraser, which is currently limited on any other platform to just objects on images. You can perform photo expansion on your device, all filled with AI, saving you the need to pay for applications to do this. And no worries, it supports TruePic as well, so that the world knows what's real and what's AI. Night Vision now extends to video capture, which is enhanced for frame rate conversion. It also brings an update in computer vision, which supports newer 3D time of flight sensors for higher resolution depth mapping. Its cognitive ISP is now capable of 12 layer real time semantic segmentation. 
segmentation, but wait, there's more. It's 5G advanced ready with AI hardware acceleration, it brings Wi-Fi 7, dual Bluetooth, and Snapdragon sound for 24-bit 96 kilohertz lossless audio. We already heard Xiaomi announcing its 14 series as the first smartphone running on the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, so expect new hardware with all this power coming sooner than we typically expect. And finally, for the hottest news today, let's continue with a more in-depth coverage of the Snapdragon Summit 2023, now with the Snapdragon X Elite. Let's just say there's no easy way to summarize it, so I'll just start from the beginning. Its four nanometer process features a 12 core Qualcomm Orion CPU that optimizes demanding workloads and features an interesting dual core boost for faster responsiveness. This makes it up to two times faster than any x86 CPU in the competition. Its Adreno GPU is also up to two times faster, providing up to 4.6 teraflops of performance and supporting triple UHD monitors at a time. In addition to some awesome gaming performance, it supports up to an insane 136 gigabytes of LPDDR5X memory, and yeah, let that sink in. It's also built for AI with its Exagon NPU supporting 13 plus billion parameters on device, providing an insane 45 tops, meaning it's 4.5 times faster than competitors, generating stable diffusion images in less than one second, and with the Qualcomm AI engine providing 75 tops. Best of all, it has all this power and yet matches peak performance at 68% less power consumption. But wait, there's more. It includes all flavors of 5G support, Wi-Fi 7, lossless audio, an advanced camera ISP, chip to cloud security, and then Snapdragon Seamless helps you collaborate between your phone and your tablet with ease. Other interesting details include the fact that this chip is scalable for different PC form factors, and also that those graphs against the M2 Max already show how much more powerful the Snapdragon X Elite already is. I know, this was a lot to digest, so stay tuned for the first products powered by it in mid-2024. In today's question, let us know, I mean, what kind of computer would you like that Snapdragon X Elite on? Because in my case, I dream of the lightest, most fanless 13-inch laptop that someone could build that can also help me edit my videos. I know, my taste is weird, but that's just me. Leave us a comment down below, we'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. You can also follow us on social medias. Our extended coverage happens on Instagram. And follow me on my personal handles to see me not want to leave Maui, but it's about that time. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.